Hi, everyone. I'm Alexa. And I'm Taylor, and we are Uncorked and Unfiltered, brought to you by the Washed Up Network, sponsored by Bride Bright. And we would like to remind everyone to please subscribe to our podcast wherever you're listening to podcasts. And if it's on Apple Podcasts, to drop us a rate and a rating and review. We would really appreciate it. And to follow us on our social media, shout out to all of our amazing followers. We are now over 600 followers and it Woo! means so much to us. Um, but our Instagram is uncorked underscore unfiltered and our Twitter is uncork underscore podcast. And now a word from our lovely sponsors. Okay, everyone, we have a super exciting product we're dying to tell you about. It's a teeth whitening kit called Bride Bright. Bride Bright was started by a Corona bride after she postponed her May wedding. While disheartened at first about the delay of her wedding, she decided to make lemons out of lemonade and find a project for her and her fiance. While preparing for her wedding, she found a great workout, great hair, and diet programs for brides getting ready for the big day, but she had trouble discovering the perfect teeth whitening program for the pictures of a lifetime. Since her fiancé is an Ivy League dentist, they decide to take matters into their own hands to find an easy solution for teeth whitening. So now, instead of I do, they launched Bride Bright, a new teeth whitening kit for weddings or special occasions or just getting those coffee or wine stains away so you're presentable over Zoom. Bride Bright provides you with a premium all-in-one teeth whitening experience in just 10 minutes a day and where you'll see results in just 10 days. It's a portable mouthpiece, so make it a part of your morning routine or do it before bed during your nightly scroll of Instagram or when you're listening to our podcast. Bride Bright's Wedding Whitening Teeth Kit includes a mouthpiece with dual red-blue light technology to speed the whitening process while maintaining gum health and reducing sensitivity. The whitening formula is designed personally by their co-founder dentist. The pens are brush on, which makes them applying as easy as putting on makeup. Use our promo code CORK, C-O-R-K, for 25% off and free shipping. We have been loving our results so far, so check out BrideBright.co. That's B-R-I-D-E-B-R-I-T-E dot C-O to get your kit today. We love those sponsors. We really do. It's such a I, great thing. I just like feel like I feel like it's like self-care to the extreme when I'm using that whitening mm-hmm. kit. Like I'm just like, wow, I'm like really doing something for myself here. Oh, yeah. I walked into my um, parents' room the other night to get the dog and I had it in my mouth and my par- like my the room was dark or whatever because they were watching TV and my dad just saw this thing lit up in my mouth. He was like, what the fuck is in your mouth? I was like... I couldn't say anything. I was like, mm, mm, mm. he was like, what? I was like, mm, mm, mm. he was like, oh, you're whitening. I was like, huh? yes. Oh my God. The same thing. I was watching a movie with my roommate and all the lights were off. And I like decided like, oh, it's just perfect time watching a movie to like do this. And like, I turned the light on and he like really like jumps and he like was so confused by like a red light. It was a scary movie. And I was just like, it's just <laughs> whitening (laughs) i just want to be pretty okay yeah it's the opposite of scary i'm scary right now i'm using the whitening to make me less scary oh god duh we just la da la da um also guys we really want to get merch we taylor and i have been brainstorming for a while now about what we would want because we're kind of spitballing almost too many ideas that we need to condense we're very indecisive yeah, so we want to do a poll on our Instagram super soon, like probably this week, about what articles of clothing you guys would like. Um, slash, we have a bunch of sayings and funny, funny merch ideas. Um, but we would just want to make sure you guys like it because we can't be the only two sporting it. <laughs> right? Should we tell them? So we're leaning more towards Leda, and it started Lida. because back in January we went to Paris with. Um, some of our friends and we were like let's try to learn french and i think we knew uh, merci merci bonjour uh, bonjour uh je m'appelle taylor Mm -hmm. and then we were like croissant and then we were like what (laughs) else do we know and i go le duh that's french and we were like oh yeah le duh so that's where that came from and now we say it all the time because we think we sound so bougie even though we sound ridiculous yeah and it's it's become it's like a part of our like basic vocabulary. Like I think I we say it to each other 
once or twice a day minimum. Minimum. I text it to you all the time. Because we just... always have our, our, our blonde moments. And so we're always like, Lida. <laughs> Lida. But so. I also feel like why it works is I feel like sometimes you're texting me and you're like, are you drinking? Or I'm texting you and then we'll answer back and I'll be like, Lida. So that's why it works, you know? Yeah. Like, is it Monday? Lida. Are you drinking? Lida. Lida. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts on that one, guys, because <laughs> we think we could do something super cute with it. So super excited about that, about merch life. Not super excited about this first story that I need to bestow upon you all, even though I'm sure if you know anything about Demi Lovato, you've probably already heard yeah. that she has ended her two-month engagement with her fiancé, Max, when they were dating for only six months total. Taylor and I were at dinner when we heard about this news. Oh, yeah. We did our little breaking news segment on the- Yeah. We were shooketh. Like shooketh, but also not, you know? So, yeah. We did a poll on our Instagram and like a lot of people were like, saw it coming. And I was like, see, I didn't necessarily see this coming. You did? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to lie to you. When I took the poll on my personal page, I said shooketh because I was like, what? Yeah. I was like pretty shook as well. Like I, I'm not saying the marriage was going to last like forever, but I just kind of thought, okay, well, they're getting engaged this fast. Like it must be like some like intense, you know, right. love going on that. Yeah. I was well, like, it must yeah. be that first love at first sight. Like when you know, you know, they didn't mm-hmm. want to waste any time. They quarantined together. So they must have really got to know each other quick and they just, they knew that's how I kind of saw it, but I guess. Same. And I feel like celebrities, it's not uncommon for them to like have really quick like marriages or things to be serious quick because like their lives are so different from the rest of us. It's kind of like when they find a person, they're like, let's just do this because. Yeah. But apparently Max is the real slim shady, this motherfucker. (laughs) All men are trash ladies, except there are a few, except a few John and Matt basically. And our dads. Um, and our dads and our grandpas. Yeah. yeah. Um, and our brothers. My brothers. Yes. And my cats, Buddha. Yes. <laughs> so my just cousins a few. are okay too. Yeah, yeah. Just a few though. Just a few. <laughs> Anyone um, I don't know. Or, or who's crossed us. Right. We no longer them. like to know. They're yeah. dead to me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We could go on about this, guys, but I know you want us to get back to Demi, so we'll get yeah, back to sorry. it. This is time for another episode. Um, so apparently there's like a he, like there's a lot of rumors swirling around about what went down. I was reading he was selling articles to the press, actually reaching out, th- reaching out to them himself to get Ew. articles out about him and Demi. There was the like article spreading that he was like he like one time tweeted years ago that he said Selena Gomez was like the like hotter than Demi Lovato, and yeah. then apparently that like him and Gomez had met and he was sending thirsty texts. Apparently he's the one that leaked those articles. Like he's the one that reached out to the press to get those in the press in yeah. the first place. Disgusting. Um, he also. Apparently the reason why he enga- proposed this fast was not because it was like this let's just go let's just do it i'm in love it was because he knew that because it was so fast it would like be the biggest thing in the news in hollywood and he wanted to just be the biggest thing in hollywood um and so like and then like i saw things that he was texting selena right now which i do not believe i'm like i don't believe that on selena's end like yeah there's no way she was answering him like no way he could have been texting her, but right. she probably wasn't answering. Yeah, but that was a no reply. Um, right. Left on So that. a lot of stuff going on that I'm reading about this dude. But the biggest thing was he posted on his Insta story like a few posts, and he's filming a movie right now. And he was like – so like when the news broke that their engagement was off, like he posted this a few hours later, and he was like, you can ask my castmates. We were all on set when we heard the news about the engagement being broken off. Um, I am like so shocked, but I know God has a plan for me and this is only going to make me stronger, this and that. And then Demi's reps, like she hasn't said anything about it, but Demi's reps said like, no, like she told him it was done. 
Like right. this didn't happen. The only thing she did was she posted a selfie on her Instagram and she's not wearing the ring anymore. So someone did get the ring back. Well, I, it wasn't us. So fuck no, us. It wasn't us. Damn it. <laughs> My whole thing is like, I just find it all so skeevy on his end. Like yeah. he should have just kind of let this die and then disappear. But he is so thirsty at this point to remain in some kind of limelight from all of this and that's what's really fucked up about the whole situation like whether you guys could have worked out your issues or not and you stayed married to her for fake reasons is bad enough but to now try to like capitalize off of it when you know Demi Lovato probably thought this was legit like she probably yeah. was like, he is the one, he's my person, he's my lobster, this is who I'm going to be with forever. In the post when they got engaged, she went off saying how it's been the best however many months they've been together. She's oh my so, god, so I got happy. goosebumps. Yeah, and now like he is probably making this so miserable for her that it's it's alarming, like how twisted he is. Yeah, it's super alarming that. And, like, I know she didn't know him for that long, but you would think if she agreed to get married to him and all this stuff that, like, she really saw his genuine self and yeah. that's why she agreed. Yeah. So either he's, like, a, a A1 sociopath. player. Yeah, like, I don't know. Something I really just, messed up with him in the head. Yeah, and the fact that he's st- still now posting stuff. I think he was posting, like, depressing songs and, like, Like, he's now, like, he's not silent at all on Twitter and Instagram. I'm like, dude, you're pathetic. No one even knows who you are. Like, no no one. I had no idea who this guy was. Demi Lovato made him famous. Yes, and he knows that. And now, enjoy this next two weeks, Max. 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 Because, and his name's Max. (laughs) LOL. Enjoy your two weeks, Max. Um, Because then he's literally going to go back into the shadows Marlboro, New Jersey, where all the assholes live, and no one's going to hear from him again. <laughs> nope. No one's going to care to. And he better, like, I though I wouldn't be surprised if he, this is kind of really twisted on my end, but I wouldn't I be it. surprised if he publishes shit about her that he, uh-huh. like, found out. Or comes out with a song, like a diss track. Or, like, track. a tell-all mm-hmm. quick book or some shit just to, like, keep himself famous and relevant. I could see it too, but what's sad, it. it's like, dude, it was six months. Like, you can't know that much. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. Like, what was her favorite color? You got that it wrong. Eh, yeah. You're wrong. <laughs> like, you don't know. I don't know. I feel bad for Demi. I just Me feel too. like, obviously, I don't know. I'm worried. Her. I'm worried. She's fragile. Yeah. You know, like, she, like, I remember her post and she was like, I have never been more happier, more in bliss than this moment. I mm-hmm. have found my purpose in life. Like I remember reading those words because I was just like, this is so beautiful. This is so romantic. Like I was like, this girl is in love. Like you could yeah. tell. Yeah. I'm just like, I hope she can just realize that, it, you know, this guy was just a sociopath and yeah. like. A con just, artist. He was a con artist. He took her for a ride. I know, but like, how is she supposed to like trust anyone after that? You know? I don't know. I don't know. She's going to be really fucked up in the head for a very long time. Like, the trust issues are going to be insane. Yeah. Honestly, she is bisexual. She should just stick to girls because men are trash. Right. You know? Minus the like, previously mentioned. Minus men. what we said. Fast. Yeah. <laughs> go back. Rewind. <gasps> Love three you, minutes. John. I don't know. I'm just like, yeah. I feel really bad and I hate this guy. I want to see how many mm-hmm. followers he has on Instagram right now. I hope it went down to zero. Is he even attractive? Not that that he's matters, not, but it does. No, he's not bad. He's not bad. Mm. Is he like Guido coming from Marlboro? I'd assume he'd be kind of Guido. He's Guido and and Hispanic. Okay. So. Like, he's – ew. Wait, Taylor. What? This – motherfucker which is my new nickname for him he has one (laughs) he has 1.6 million followers he's following zero people the audacity who do you think he is kanye west he obviously does i made that bitch famous he thinks like he's i hate him like he's so new jersey i hate it i know i'm like 
I honestly am gagging a little bit. He's deleted all of their pictures already. Shocking. Ew. I hate him. (laughs) I hope he comes home for like Christmas or something and I will stalk his house. We can look it up. Zillow. Yeah. (laughs) Under the cover of Nightfall. Just like wear all black so we... Okay, wait. I have an update for you guys. Nine hours ago, he posted on his story. One chapter finally closed this AM. This is his voice. And now I turn the page. Focus on wellness, love, God, my family, friends, and my art. Good vibes only. Smiley face and then an X. Okay, he needs to find God. He needs to go away. He needs to literally go away. He keeps... He literally keeps posting stuff. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't get over this. He's like, just an FYI, I don't have a Facebook. That's fake news. I only post on Instagram. No one cares. And it's like, no one cares. Literally, I don't think anybody asked. Like, yes, I'm on his page right now, but no one cares. (laughs) He is the epitome of that meme where it's like, nobody. And then it's like him. I am finding the Lord. I am focusing on friends and family. It's like, okay. No one asked. No one cares. Honestly, everyone's team Demi, so you can fuck right off. Yeah. We all hate you, dude. I don't think there's a person that is on your side, except no. maybe your mom, and that's just because she has no choice. Right. She birthed you. So. Yeah. I wouldn't be on my son's side. If I ever have – if I have kids and they're all boys, mm-hmm. they are in for a rude awakening. Oh, yeah. I mean – I would. I will never take their sides, and I've actually. No. I will not. I hate my son. I'm embarrassed. Whatever. Well, we're Team Demi. Um, I really hope that we don't have to give any more updates about this story because I don't want any more drama surrounding him. I'm so over him. Mf. I agree. But I see more drama in our future with him. I unfortunately do as well. I'm just. I hate him so. <laughs> We will see, I guess, what happens, but I... So, I hate him. That's so, that's all. it. And that's end of the story. And on to the next. Um, Happy we were t- <laughs> We were talking about moms, and guys, we have so many baby-related news. Is there something in the water? Because then I'm not going to drink water. Because what's going on? <laughs> I honestly think it's corona. I said this from the start. I said everyone's going to get pregnant or have a drinking problem, and those that are not pregnant are probably close to the drinking problem, but, like, I don't think they'll really realize it until quarantine ends Mm -hmm. and they have to go back into society and can't be drunk every day. Right, right. So right now we're just going to focus on the baby stories, and I'm sure eventually rehab stories will follow. Will emerge, yeah. Um, So, yeah, starting it off, we have two expectant stories – rolling it out here. Mandy Moore is pregnant with her first child. I'm so happy for them. I know. I love her. Like she reminds me of my childhood and that's just like so cute. Yeah. Um, and then Frankie Muniz, who is Malcolm in the middle, Lada. Lada. And his wife are expecting. He is like he didn't age well. Good old Frankie. Poor guy. He didn't. Receding Um, hairline. No hair, basically. Not even receding. It's gone. Right. It's you're right. (laughs) received and left um (laughs) receded off his head yeah but like he is so cute and like you can tell like he his wife is like his life and like I mean she's gorgeous so like yeah dude Mm. you like understand you lucked out here yeah (laughs) but like they are so cute and guys if you haven't go on his Instagram and check out the video they posted announcing the pregnancy it's the cutest thing it'll make your day oh we love happy couples yeah, we really do. <laughs> Jaquain, I didn't say his name right, did I? No. Joaquin. <laughs> I like read it really quick. I was like, wait, that's wrong. As you were saying, you were like, that's not right. <laughs> that can't be right. Something's off. Joaquin Phoenix and Rooney Mara had their first baby and apparently named him River after – um. Joaquin's brother that had passed away from a drug overdose, which is so adorable. Super sad. Yeah. I when I read that, so River Phoenix was actually an actor. Um oh, I know that name. Yeah. He was an actor. He was his brother. 
and he died really young. I think like 23 or 24. Oh. Um, I'm and like he uh, Joaquin Phoenix. If you guys think like that name's so familiar, he was the Joker in the Joker movie movie last year, yes. and he won like the Oscar for it, and he swept every single award um, for each award show for that. And like every single time he came on the stage, he's a bizarre guy. So he yeah. was just like one speech. He was talking about cows because he's a vegan, oh. Oh. but the entire speech was about cows. Huh. Um, but then <laughs> I think it was his. I don't know which speech it was. It might have been his Oscar or maybe the Golden Globe, but he just like dedicated it to River and like the way he talked oh. about him, you can tell like they had like a really, really strong bond. And like, I was like, oof, like you could really see him hurting talking about him. So yeah. the fact that like, I mean, they haven't announced it. I don't know where this came from, maybe from sources, but I really hope that's great because that's like such a nice tribute. And like, obviously that would mean so much to him considering yeah. how close he was to his brother. Yeah, that's sweet. And I like Love the name that. River. Ian's, Me too. Ian's, um, son is yeah, River. Yeah, his son's yeah. Son River. I like that name too. Yeah, it's a good name. Love it. Um, who else? Oh, Amanda Seifield. Seifried? I always mm-hmm. pronounce her last name wrong. Anyway, she had her second baby with her hubby. So that's oh, exciting. I, I love know. her. Mama Mia all They've the way. They've been married for a while, I feel. They have, right? right? That's yeah. like a, a solid Hollywood couple. We'll knock on wood. <laughs> I don't have any wood. Me either. I knocked on my laptop, so we'll <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> um, that's yeah. really cute. Yeah, they like um, never have drama. They're just happy No, she is married. so chill. They're just living their lives, man. Yeah. Well, talking about, let's see who else. Okay, so now we were talking about Bindi Irwin and Chrissy Teigen. Yes. So Bindi Irwin's having a girl and Chrissy Teigen's having a boy. Oh. What did we say? I forget what we said, what we thought each was oh, going to have. Oh, shoot. We're gonna, I'm going to have to listen back. Mm-hmm. I feel like I probably said boy because I'm – Usually, whatever I say, it's usually the opposite. So I think we literally switched it. I think we said boy for Bindi and girl for Chrissy. So I think so too. I'm pretty sure Chrissy accidentally announced yes. that she was having a boy too. She did. She was on like a live video laying in her bed and she was just talking about something. And then she was like, because when, when our boy comes, and then she literally was like, fuck, I didn't, oh well, whatever. And then she like <laughs> kept talking. <laughs> I just feel like that's so on brand for her. Yes, it is. And that's what, like, I'm not, like, some people are obsessed with her. I'm not obsessed with her. But yeah. that's when I really am, like, I like her because she's yeah. just, like. She's real. She's real. And, like, yeah. even if she's sometimes obnoxious, I'm, like, at least I know what I'm seeing is, like, how she is. She's not playing us. Yeah, I agree. More baby stuff, guys. We're not done. Oh, boy. Um, Did you see the – picture of chloe kardashian with tristan and everyone's thinking she looks pregnant um yes and she does <laughs> i'm just like i would feel horrible if it's just like a food baby or something i know but it also was like a baggy t-shirt so it could have been like the wind or a gust right. or something like or like she, boobs right she pulled her shirt just the moment as they took it but like because that picture it looked like she was a good six months pregnant like it didn't like she could be. Like she could be. I feel like I heard rumors about this a while ago, too. Mm-hmm. So now this is kind of like my second time hearing about it, and I'm kind of just like, maybe. Yeah, it could be true. I mean, she has been seen with Tristan. They've been quarantining together with – the heck's her daughter named True? Um, yeah. So maybe, maybe, I mean – even though he's a cheating scumbag and I don't even know why she's allowing him at her house. Well, um, her presence. Right. Maybe she's kind of figuring, well, like, since, you know, I already have one child with him and, like, even if we don't last, like, I at may as well, like, keep siblings. it in the family type yeah. of thing. Yeah. yeah. Which, whatever, girl. I mean, you have enough money. You can just do what you want and then, like, flick him away when you want. <laughs> <laughs> literally take his sperm and run. Yeah, literally. Crap. So... I don't know. Yeah. It's weird though. Cause I really haven't been hearing. I saw that and I was like, Oh yeah, she looks pregnant. But like, it really hasn't really hit a lot of like the headlines. Right. It's kind of like a, it was like a quick little remark and that's it. It's very interesting how the Kardashians can keep shit under wraps if they really want it to mm-hmm. like nothing gets out unless they 
approve want it, it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like a cult. Like the everything cult that comes out is when they purposely leak it. Right. We might have. Um, and then, okay, Billy Lord revealed that she had a baby boy and named him after her late mother, Carrie Fisher. I think like Aww. his middle name is Fisher. And it's crazy because no one knew she was even pregnant. And then she just like posted on Instagram, like introducing. And it was like, <laughs> what <laughs> oh which i so thought was like yeah you know, i love that yeah but i thought that was like really sweet like it yeah. was really sad when she lost um her mom and her grandma like three days apart so yeah that's hard and he was wearing a little star wars onesie to Aww. um do a little tradition like a little not tradition um shout out to her mom so cute did we talk about Gigi and zane having their baby so we posted oh, it. We forgot this on the baby news. We're so dumb. There's going to be a new king of the north. Yes, that's that oh my was god. The one. Wait, no, there's another one after that. Talk Wait, about Kit, that one. Kit Harrington and what's his wife's name? Rose. They're having a baby. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah, freaking Princess Eugenia. She's pregnant. So there's a royal baby. Oh my god. I know. I'm this like is a shook lot. it. This and is I, a lot so right now. Queenie Elizabeth is having her ninth great grandchild, I think. I truly think she's going to outlive Charles, and she better. Ben William will take the throne. That's my I own would personal theory. love that. We could fly to London for the coronation. coronation. I'm so down. Twist my arm. I'll swim there. Yeah, I will as well. Um, yeah, oh my God. Literally, I'm overwhelmed with the baby news. I'm Me like, too. what is going on? But that's so right. We totally forgot Kit Harrington and Rose. They're having a baby. I love that. I love them as a couple. Like, I'm so happy that was – because I had, did not know they were married when I watched the show. I, you told me. Mm-hmm. Like, after she had died, I think. Yeah. And it warmed my heart so much because on screen, like, you could just tell there was something there. Yeah. And so then knowing they were together in real life, I was like, oh, my God. I yeah, it. it's so cute. And, like, clearly, slash I would hope he's – out of his whole rehab situation yeah. and he's like doing better from that. I don't think they would decide to have a baby if not. So I would hope yeah. not. Um, yeah. I'm rooting for them though. That's so cute. I love it. I wonder I what they'll their name baby. It. I know. And I want the baby will have red hair because she's a redhead. Maybe, but like he's brunette and I'm pretty sure brunette is the dominant. Gene. I thought red was like super strong. Really? I thought red was so recessive. Maybe it'll be like a deep red, like a red brown. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. a Auburn. Right? That's pretty. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I think that is it on our baby news. All right. On to the next. What do we have here? Some Bravo gossip, obviously, like every other episode. I just love Bravo. I have an addiction to it, and it's fine. I have accepted it, but I am not moving forward. I'm going to stick to my addiction. Mm-hmm. I agree. So there's a lot of sp- – rumors swirling around about the real housewives of beverly hills and it's just all about women that are possibly joining the show Mm -hmm. and right now the list has grown to kathy hilton chris jenner caitlin jenner and sophia hutchins but actually i wrote this down about caitlin jenner and sophia hutchins because i saw it this morning and Mm -hmm. now most recently i have seen that someone said they literally spread this rumor themselves. It is completely false. Bravo has not even thought about them. <laughs> <laughs> I did think I heard that with Caitlyn Jenner. I don't know who Sophie Hutchins is, but I remember reading somewhere that someone asked Caitlyn Jenner if Chris Jenner would be good on Beverly Hills, and she said yes. So, mm. But I also did hear Kathy Hilton was – uh possible because she's related to kyle richards too yeah they're sisters yeah so like that could be a legit thing although though kyle already did the sister thing and it really didn't work out for her so oh my god i love kim i know kim (laughs) is crazy crazy so maybe she'll be hesitant to have another sister on board i don't know i feel like kyle just likes to be the center of attention i don't think she she wants to share that you know but who knows she definitely does Maybe she's feeling like she's getting stale on the show, so needs to bring some sort of family dynamic. And then, you know, Kathy's her she, her daughter is Paris Hilton, so then maybe that could bring some sort of if like Paris actually was going to be a part of the show. You never know. Yeah. Speaking of, did you ever watch the 
Paris Hilton doc on YouTube. I haven't, but Eric did, and he said it was pretty good. I want to watch it. Me too. I just haven't gotten around to it. We could talk about that at some point yeah. if we watch Maybe it. Let's, yeah, let's try and watch it. We'll give a review for you guys. Yeah. Well, I have some Vanderpump gossip. Okay. It's my favorite show. So apparently Lala and Sheena got into it big time over social media. So on Sheena's podcast, she claimed that Lala wasn't there for her during her miscarriage and that Lala went just went to dinner um, with Megan Fox and MGK instead of being with her. And I think she kind of just like casually mentioned that like they haven't been as close lately and like this is mm. kind of why. And Lala fucking dragged her oh my like, god through the mud lala what is happened relentless so she posted a story and she had like a literal bunch of bullet points and she goes number one i'm not tripping too hard in her mind that's how it happened she would rather focus on me not being there for her than the fact that her man said he was working turned his phone off and went golfing that day Weird how that gets glazed over. This is why her relationships are always a train wreck and make epic TV. Number two, she claims I chose a celebrity over her. Girl, weren't you just capitalizing off banging John Mayer over 100 years ago? (sighs) Number three, she has a way of making everything about her. I've accepted that about her and found found the endearing parts of it. Number four, she has an idea of how everyone should react in certain situations. We usually always fail, and she's left disappointed. This is why she has a new best friend every day. We can't keep up. When she told me she was really upset at Brock and just wanted to go to bed, I didn't know that meant come over right now. I can't believe I just gave that much time to this shit when we aren't even filming and I'm not even getting paid. SMH. That last part's crazy. That is – I mean – this is so fucking rude. She like, really doesn't rude. care. She really doesn't care at all. And it's really fucked up because Sheena was so nice to her. Like when Sheena's kind of the one that like brought her into the group and was always friendly with her and like talked to her and Stassi, Kristen, and Katie were the mean girls and they were so right. nasty to Lala. And Sheena was always friendly with her, always supportive of her. She kind of worked her way up and, like, she is now dating this, like, producer and, like, has a private plane and, like, is – well, she's engaged to said producer. The other girls kind of are now giving her the time of day and, like, now she's, like, super bitchy to Sheena. It's really hard to watch, to be honest. And is she pregnant? She is pregnant. Mm Mm-hmm. It's a girl. See, this is what's hysterical to me, like – I kind of feel like if you are a mean girl and someone likes to put people down, don't you think you would have a humbling moment when you're literally giving birth to a baby girl to think like, I don't want people to act like that, you know, to treat my daughter. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't yeah. you have some sort of a reflection once you get older where you're like, let's not like lead with like meanness and being rude. Like, you would like think. you're going to bring a daughter into this world and like for, you know what I mean? And like, yeah. It's crazy. And also, you think you'd be a little bit extra sensitive because you're so happy. Like, your pregnancy is fine. As You know, you're healthy. Your baby's healthy. Poor Sheena. Like, she had a baby and now she doesn't. So, you think you would kind of be like, I cannot even imagine what Sheena is feeling through all of this. Like, three of her friends now are all pregnant. And, like, you know, you just – You'd think she'd take a step back and be like, how would I want to be treated if this was me? I would just let her say whatever she wants to say on her podcast. Some part of Sheena is probably very jealous and, like, upset that it just didn't work out for her, which is completely understandable. Yeah, of course. And it's like – just, like, move on. Yeah. Move on. Like, if Sheena was, you know, being a little crazy or – like – she was going through something. So don't like set her on fire and like yeah. just like let her have her moment and then move on. Yeah. You I haven't like been her. in her shoes, honey. You no. trust me, you don't want to be. Like, I mean, I've obviously never had a miscarriage, so I can't even imagine what it's like, but I could I could never No, and it goes to show how like ingenuine and self absorbed Lala is to not even really like have compassion and think like yeah. 
wow, like I'm lucky to be having a so far like a healthy pregnancy. Yeah. It's like, okay, Lauren from Utah, sit the fuck down. <laughs> Go have your baby. Shut the fuck up. Wow. What a bitch. She's such a bitch. And I'm not even getting paid for this. Oh, so you're only friendly with Sheena when you're getting paid. Getting paid. And also, no one told you to post those stories. So then right. go the fuck away. Don't do it then. Text yeah. her. Like, you don't need to make it public. Yeah. Oh my God. She's trying to stay relevant. Tacky. Very tacky. Very tacky. Ugh. All right. Well, thank you for that. That was some juicy gossip. I'm sure we'll be back next week with more Bravo. Um, I know. But wrapping up this hot takes with some interesting and kind of sad news. So Dax Shepard... Um, I feel like some people, when I say the name, they're like, who? And then I'm like, he's married to Kristen Bell. And they're like, oh. oh. Well, that guy. <laughs> but he's, you know, been in his fair share of movies and TV shows. But he actually now has a popular podcast called Armchair Expert. Taylor, I don't know if you've ever listened to this podcast. And I'm giving this guy free advertising right now. But it is literally such a good podcast. Like, really? Yeah, it's him and his co-host Monica, and they're just really good friends. And they bring an actor or a singer or musician, like a athlete, onto their show each week, and they like interview them. But it's like the way that they interview these people, it's like so intellectual, but always interesting. And like Dax has like the best personality ever, so always know how to how how to like keep a conversation going. It's an yeah. excellent podcast, and it's like. I think literally like number one, like it's so successful. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So it's literally his full-time job now. Like he doesn't even act anymore. Like he's just doing this podcast because he's making him. bank. Yeah. But he revealed on his podcast this week that he has relapsed after 16 years of sobriety, oh, which wow. is really sad. That's and so sad. he's always been such an advocate for sobriety and he's a part of many charities and groups and Kristen Bell is constantly posting about him and how proud she is and stuff. Mm -hmm. But he went on to see what happened. So I guess this relapse stemmed from a motorcycle accident that happened in 2012 and they gave him like small doses of Percocet to help with like his injuries. Mm -hmm. And I guess he now looking back realized that kind of triggered something and he kept I guess every now and then going back to the pills and then when he realized he was like hoarding them and I think it got really bad like recently yeah. he then decided to come clean to Kristen and his co-host Monica who's like his best friend and tell them and literally like handed over the pills and was like take this from me I'm done I've realized oh. I've now gone too far but yeah, it was like a super real conversation. He even admitted that he was gaslighting Kristen at times when she was trying to be there for him. And like, he's just like, I really feel for him because he's someone who just like truly has an addiction. Like he yeah. truly is just a struggle. And because yeah. he is like such a stand up guy. And like he's a father. You could tell he's such an intelligent guy, he's such a good husband. And he's just someone that is – he struggles with addiction. And it's just – it's going to be a struggle his entire life. But, like, hearing yeah. him talk about it – and, you know, he was like, I'm embarrassed and this and that. But then there's been an outpouring of love and support come out mm -hmm. since he announced it. So then he posted something else and he was like, you guys have, like, given me so much more strength and stuff. So I just, yeah. like, wish him nothing but the best. Yeah. That's – it's so crazy. Like, when – someone's addicted and then they're clean for a while if they get in any type of accident or anything like that like they need to be so extra careful with painkillers yeah. you yeah. know because that's i mean you get i you get addicted to that real quick and like you don't even really realize it because the doctor prescribed it so i can take it whenever i want the doctor gave it to me kind of thing you know it's mm -hmm. it's a slippery slippery slope very slippery slope and like it's like those are such addictive pills. Like the mm -hmm. opioid epidemic is real with like oxy and stuff. And it's like people get a, people get a toothache and they get oxy. And then next yeah. thing you know, they're like straight up addicted. Like, yeah. so it, I mean, I feel for him. It's, yeah. And like when he was talking about it, it was coming like straight from his heart. You could tell how disappointed he was. Like it was real. It's good but, though that he was able to recognize it and like mm -hmm. see – 
I'm now abusing this. I need to stop. I can't, I cannot hold on to these anymore. I need to give them to someone who will get rid of them for me because I won't be able to get rid of them myself. Like that's, I mean, that says a lot about how serious he is about everything and like how much, you know, this was just a slip up because of the accident, you know, he Mm -hmm. would probably go on to it on his own, you know? Right. Yeah. No, that really – and then even the fact about how vocal he is, it's almost yeah. like he's making himself accountable. Like he's yeah. telling everyone. So it's like I'll, all eyes are on me almost, you know? It's yeah. probably going to help him in a way. Yeah, because, I mean, there are always people that want to see someone fail. So now people – the those people are going to be extra – is he acting weird in public? Does something seem off about him today? So he just really is going to have to be on his game to not slip up again. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I love him and I love him and Kristen together. I actually think they're like that Hollywood couple that if I saw they separated, I would have been like, I would be like devastated. Yeah. Love is dead. Cause I don't even see them as like a Hollywood couple. I literally just see them as like, just straight up like couple and like yeah. i'm just like no you're better than that like yeah they're so, such a mom and dad it's so cute yeah they're so cute so wishing him and his fam nothing but the best well i think that's our last hot take for the week right yeah i think that I about else. wraps it up yeah no me either yeah. It for now, but I feel like there's a trend that happens with us, and every time i publish this damn podcast breaking news comes out right afterwards oh yeah so, so everyone stay see. tuned for the next few days because shit's going to hit the fan, I feel like. Yep, we promise you. <laughs> um, but I do have a protect the planet for the week. Oh, my God. Yes. Let me hear. So my friend Sam, shout out to you. Hey, told Sam. Me about this. Hi, Sam. We love you. She told me about this company called Brit Botanicals, B-R-I-I-T Botanicals. Um, they sell shampoo and conditioner bars. So you're using – just like the I mean so there's no plastic so it's not in a bottle or anything like that it's like a soap bar but like a shampoo and conditioner bar um they're really great for travel too because you're not bringing huge bottles around and obviously reducing plastic the company also plants a tree for every bar that is sold and we love love trees being planted and the best part is so like my hair is super thick and an unruly mess. So you can go on and you can take a quiz about scents you prefer and like your hair type and all this stuff. And um, it'll match you with a bar that will work best for you. I love that. It's like they make it so easy and like they're even trying to like super user friendly. It's like they're not just giving you one generic bar for everyone. I'm just saying, everybody, like, you don't realize it, but every time you buy a new bottle of shampoo and conditioner, that plastic is just being thrown into the ocean. Think Straight about in there. Right in there. Yeah. Sink into the bottom. Yeah. So. It's really something to think about. And, like, even, like, an easier method than that is, like, your hand soap that you use. Mm-hmm. You can buy refills and, like, cardboard little containers, almost like milk containers. Like, I yeah. literally order it from Amazon. Keep it under my sink. And then I'm just refilling my glass soap container. And I'm yeah. so like, you don't need to go to CVS and buy those like dial plastic soap containers. Like, no. number one, they're ugly. Okay. You're not in a, two days. Two days. You're not in a frat house anymore. Grow up. <laughs> um, and number two, protect the planet. Literally protect the planet. I think I spelled. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, it is two eyes. I'm just like double checking myself. Um, yeah. Protect the planet stop being wasteful Mm -hmm. i will find you all and i will kill you personally on behalf of the turtles thank you i cannot confirm nor deny that statement (laughs) (laughs) but i will support it thanks um i knew knew i'd see you in jail of course of course girl um (laughs) anything for the turtles (laughs) um (laughs) Yeah, but that about wraps up this week's episode. Stay tuned for some polls on our Instagram to see what kind of merch we should be ordering. Mm -hmm. Um, Also, stay tuned for the breaking news story that will inevitably be posted as soon as we publish this episode. Yep. Um, You're welcome. 
Yeah, you're welcome. We love you guys. Make sure to follow our social medias. Instagram is uncorked underscore unfiltered. Twitter is uncork underscore podcast. Stay hydrated, everybody. And drink wine, guys. We all need it. Bye, guys. Bye.